how do you remove and replace this crazy race onto a KTM crankshaft? That's what we're here to show you today, guys. It's super, super simple, but it does require a special tool. This thing from KTM. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they call it. Uh, bearing race removal and installation tool, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, you're gonna need one of these things, guys. So um, you gotta suck it up. Uh, there's the part number. I'll read it off to you. It's 584.29.037.043. Uh, buy one for your bike if you're planning on doing this. Otherwise, take it to someone like me who will do it for you really fast. I mean, I don't, I'll probably charge charge you 20 bucks to take one off and put one on. But let me show you how it works. It's pretty cool, actually. All right. So we are not reusing this crankshaft. Um, just because uh, we got a brand new one for this build that we're doing, but I will show you how to remove it. Um, obviously, if you've got a way to chalk the crank up, it does make life a lot easier. Um, and so you're going to need this thing and a blue wrench. You got to get this thing real hot, guys. Probably be better to hold it. Yeah, we're, there we go. Let that get on there. Heat up. Oh, there it goes. thing oh, yeah boom there's that one now we're gonna install this one we're gonna install it on the new crank though so let's get this crank out of the way chalk this up these are soft jaws guys so it is safe I don't want to go crazy. Now, fall right in there, just like that. Now we'll heat this whole thing up. And when you're doing, when you're installing one, you want to heat up the tool and the race since you can. Uh, the thing about when you're taking it off, you want to heat just the tool up. You don't want to heat the race up because as you heat the race up, if you're doing it with it on the crankshaft, it'll also heat the crank and make it expand too. So it doesn't do the cool thing that the heat does. Oh, this. Just like that. When you put it on, you're gonna let that heat the rest of the crank up because if you try to pull it back off, it'll just come off like the whole tool. It'll come right back off. There we go. Boom. Installed. And on the two stroke guys, there is no uh, spacer on those. On four strokes, they actually have a spacer um, shims or real thin shims. You gotta stack the right amount of shims in there to get the right thing. But on the two strokes, at least these old ones, that's it. There you go guys, short little video. Hopefully that helps you. Sorry, but you do have to buy the fancy tool for that one. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of cool tech stuff like this, but then also ride videos, review videos, uh, bike builds, giveaways, all that good stuff. So anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.